So in Missouri, the rules of professional conduct prevent us from taking a contingent fee in a divorce case. So if you have a case involving custody or a dissolution of marriage, child support, uh, getting a maintenance order, property division, things like that, the, the Missouri rules of professional conduct are very, very clear. And they say that, that your lawyer can't take a contingent fee. For those of you who don't know, contingent fees are the standard in personal injury cases, class actions, workers' compensation claims, things like that. A contingent fee means that the lawyer takes a percentage of whatever he or she could recover. If the lawyer recovers, say for example, $90,000 in a, in a car accident case, the lawyer keeps roughly 30%, it can vary, but keeps 30%, and then the client gets 60%. If the client gets nothing, then the client has to pay nothing. So it's a good way to shift the risk to the attorney. However, in, in divorce cases, that's not allowed. So, you know, if, if there's a client, and this, is, this happens somewhat frequently, not frequently, but, you know, at least once a year, a client will say, you know what, I, I, I'm really wanting to win my divorce case, or I'm really wanting to get sole legal and sole physical custody of my kids. Let's, why don't we work out a deal where if you can do that for me, I'll, I'll pay you X amount, or I'll give you a bonus, or anything like that. And, and that kind of thing is not allowed. And the idea is that, is that it's not good pub, public policy to have an attorney have a stake in litigation involving custody of a child. You don't want a lawyer driving litigation like that. You, you, want, you want the parent to make decisions that are in the kid's best interest. And you also don't want a lawyer pushing a client to get divorced when maybe, maybe the client has decided to reconcile. So, so it's really important that that, that rules in effect. As a side note, that prohibition on contingent fees also applies in criminal defense cases. So you can never pay your criminal defense attorney uh, a contingent fee. You can never say if you get, if you get an acquittal for me, you know I'll pay you I'll pay you ten grand. You can't do that. The lawyer can't do that. Um, so there is an exception to this rule that applies in the family law context. And one thing that can happen is a person who goes through a divorce or a custody case or anything similar is awarded child support or maintenance. If that happens, it's also common that the person who owes the money never follows through and pays or they're, they're late or they go through a period where they don't pay. And maybe they get really far behind on, on child support or maintenance. And if that's the case, then let's say, for example, um, let's say a woman named Mary is owed $100,000 in back maintenance or back child support. Well, if she comes in and she says, okay, you know, I don't have the money. Um, money's tight. My ex-husband hasn't paid me a dime in 10 years. Uh, he owes me all this money. Um, can you collect this for me? He's hiding his income, he has hidden accounts, he's putting things in his, his new wife's name. Um, he may have a retirement account, but I don't know where it is. I don't wanna pay you by the hour to try to, to find all this stuff and try to collect it. Can you do it on a contingent fee? The answer is yes. Uh, you know, of course it depends on you know, whether it's collectible, things like that, but the rules of professional conduct make an exception and allow us as attorneys to do that kind of thing on a contingent fee. So in that situation, if if Mary were to come into the office and say, hey, you know, I want you to do this on a contingent fee, I don't wanna pay you up front, but if you can collect this money, then I'll give you a percentage of what you can collect. We can do that as attorneys. And, and often it works very, very well for both, both the client and the attorney. Um, if the client, if it turns out that the money is not there, uh, you know, we, we try to collect it, we can't collect it, then the client isn't out more money. They don't have to pay any, any fees. So, so it can work out really well. Um, and and that's, that's sort of the limited exception where contingent fees are permitted in, in the domestic relations or family law context.